Hey everyone, I'm Deb and today I'm going to teach you how to download the expense tracker if you're having issues with permissions. I get a few requests a day asking for permission to access the sheet and form, but you don't need access to my copy to download your own. I've got my tutorials for downloading and installing on desktop, Android and iOS, but I'm making this tutorial for those who might be stuck. I would recommend that you look at those tutorials as well so you can install the form onto your phone. So for those who are struggling with permissions, follow this tutorial and you'll be tracking your expenses in next to no time. Let's get started. So I'm on my website right now and just click on the download expense tracker 1.0. You can download 2.0, it really doesn't matter, the process is exactly the same. Then make sure you're signed into your Google account and click expense tracker, this one down here, then the three dots, then make a copy. And that's all you got to do. Then there's a little prompt here and show file location. Then in your drive, there should be two things that have been copied over, the copy of the expense tracker and a copy of the expense tracker form. So that form automatically generates and you don't need to download the other form. Just make a copy of the tracker and then double click on the tracker. And because you made a copy for your own drive, this is something that you can edit. See, I'm typing in it right now. And if you go back and go to the tracker form, then this is also yours and you can edit it too. So I'm adding a question I can type in and yep, I can edit this. And really that's it. You don't need to ask for permission at all and you have it in your drive. So that is how you download and access everything on desktop without needing permission. Though a lot of people have issues with the iOS system because there's a bug that appears with Drive and iOS and this is a little workaround that I have figured out and hopefully this will work out for you as well. So I'm on my website at the moment on my iPad and if you click through to version 1.0 it will open the folder with my expense tracker and form that you can download and like on desktop you would select the three dots and then make a copy and it'll save a copy to your drive. And at the moment, it only has a copy of the tracker, but if you just swipe down and refresh, the form will show up. Then if you click through to the tracker, then this is yours. You can scroll through it, you can edit it, you can select things. And then this is the issue that a lot of people have when they select the copy of the expense tracker form. It says that you need permission. And this is a bug and I'm going to show you how to solve it. So you go back and then turn your link sharing on and then it shows that the link sharing is turned on and the link is copied. If you click through again then it says that you still need permission. So what I would do is I would select the link, make sure it's copied to your clipboard, then go back to Safari, open a new tab and then paste that. As you can see you have access to this and when you press preview it shows the form that you can type in. Then if you go back to your drive and you select the form again, the one that used to say that you needed permission, somehow you now have access to it. So it is really a bug that's going around. If you still have issues with this, then I would recommend that you install everything on your desktop, copy the link and then paste it into your Safari on your iOS instead of trying to access it through your drive because when I copied the link over and I pasted it into my Safari, it didn't ask for any permissions and it works just fine. So that is my tutorial on permissions. I have other tutorials on my channel about installing it on your phone, customizing your tracker and building it from scratch if you wanted to check that out. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more tutorials and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.